Today I'm reviewing with you guys two peel and stick towels that I've tried out myself. The Dollar Tree peel and stick towel versus the Room Decor peel and stick towel. I'm getting ready to tell you the truth.com on both of these towels. The good, the bad, and the ugly coming up next. Welcome back to another episode of J Design Tells All. This is your girl Jazz Gill, and we are about to jazz it up. I just want to go ahead and say again, thank you to everybody who's been watching. If you noticed, I've done two episodes on peel and stick towels. If you haven't seen them, feel free to go back and check them out. You'll find the links down below as well. So let's go ahead and dive into this information. Why don't we? We are getting ready to have nine categories. So the first category is going to be the aesthetics. Which tile looks the best? Actually gravitated more towards the room decor. So that point is going hands down to room decor. I just didn't like the look of the Dollar Tree spill and stick tiles. It wasn't as reflective as a real tile would have been. So I just wasn't sold. So the next category is the cost. So obviously I got my Dollar Tree tiles from a dollar store. So each of my tiles cost me a dollar. <laughs> So I don't know if you could beat that, right? So the room decor um, tiles, I bought 10 for $23 about, just about, so that's what, $2.30 per tile. So we're going to have to give the cost around $2. The next category is installation. So as far as installation, how easy was it for me to use these tiles? Hands down, I'm going to have to give it to the Dollar Tree. Why? Because they're square tiles. So I mean, how easy is that? You know, you just place them side by side and you are good to go. They stuck on the wall. So what else was there to do, right? So for the um, room decor, peel and stick, they were super easy as well. However, they were more like puzzles. So I had to make sure that I was thinking a little bit more. So as far as installation goes, both were easy projects, but it was slightly easy to do the Dollar Tree. So they win this round. Next category is the ability to stick. So I'm giving both of them the point for this category. Not much to say, they both stuck to the wall, didn't have any issues with them, so both of them get the point. The next category is the ability to remove them from the wall. This is big, right, for some of you guys who are renting. So I'm just gonna give you guys a little backstory. So for the Dollar Tree Peel and Stick Tile, I actually test them out before I did the project. Why? Because I really didn't want any problems because I'm renting. So I wanted it to be able to come off the wall. And that one, I actually had to put it directly on the wall, right? So when I went to remove it, it came off magically. And as far as the room decor tiles, I actually stuck those to a white backer. They were so sticky. So today, just for this episode, I decided to stick it on my wall somewhere inconspicuous just in case something went down, right? And when I went to peel them off, it was so easy to my surprise. Um, do I regret putting my backer up? I actually don't because it actually gave my tiles more depth and gave it a more real look. So I'm okay with the fact that I put my backer up and it's still going to be super easy to take down. But for those of you who don't want the headache of putting a backer up, the good news is these come right off. So I really didn't have to do all that. <laughs> so again, the point goes to both of them for this round. The next category is convenience. How convenient was it for me to get my hands on these tiles so that I could start my project? So all in all, it was kind of hard to get my hands on the Dollar Tree ones because I had to drive to a couple of Dollar Trees before I found it. That worked out fine. So I ended up spending my $9 because I bought one tile at a time. To order online, I found out I had to purchase 50. As far as the room decor tiles, those I ordered on Amazon, and we know that Amazon is freakishly fast, so I actually got those tiles the very next day. So I have to say, room decor wins that round. The next category is the quality. This is my favorite category. Why? Because I'm a designer, okay? And I want things to look authentic. I want them to look nice. I don't just want them to look nice so that I can get views. I don't just want them to look nice on camera. I actually want them to look nice in my space. I want them to look real. So, with that being said, as far as quality goes, I'm going to have to give this point over to, I'm not gonna tell you guys. Let, let me talk about them a little bit first. <laughs> 
Okay, so for the Dollar Tree Peel and Stick Tile, um, what I liked about them were that they were three-dimensional, so they gave the look of a tile, a real tile, uh, as far as the form goes, but they were hollow, so I really didn't like the fact that they were hollow. So I just, I just wasn't sold. They look kind of like plastic. Sorry for saying that. <laughs> But I mean, that's the reason why me personally, I actually painted over it to give it a different look. So um, as far as, you know, quality goes, I just can't give the point to Dollar Tree for that. Now let's talk about the room decor tile. So the room decor tile, to my surprise, was not hollow, it was nice and thick, you can't push it down, and it actually has a reflection like a real tile. And also, I actually like the fact that it was like a puzzle and I had to put my tiles you know kind of align my tiles properly it really gave it an authentic look and my brother came over the house and he had no idea that I put peeling stick tiles on the wall with that being said again room decor gets the point for this round now as far as wear and tear for I am going to give the point to room decor because we just talked about quality so if it's such good quality clearly there's, it's gonna take less wear and tear. Um, since I've had them, I've had no issues with them whatsoever. The ones outside, um, the Dollar Tree ones, they also look good. However, um, the quality of them, it just doesn't seem that they're going to last as long as my room decor tiles in the house. So, yeah, I don't know. That point's gonna go to room decor. Now, the last category is maintenance. All right, so uh, these kind of go hand in hand. Um, but as long as I've had these tiles, I have had to do absolutely nothing to the room, room decor tiles in the kitchen. I cook all the time and, and the heat has not done anything to my tiles. If anything was to splash up on there, I could easily, you know, take a wet rag and wipe them down. So as far as maintaining them, taking care of them, I have had no issues. As far as the Dollar Tree tiles, they look great. Don't get me wrong. I haven't had any issues for the most part. However, I have had to restick them on the wall on the edges, and the good part is that they stick really well, so I haven't had any trouble with them since. But with that being said, the maintenance part of things, I had to give it over to room decor because I have to, had to do absolutely no maintenance to keep them up. That's my review on both of the products. I may just be a little bit more passionate about the room decor tiles as far as using it in the bathroom or the kitchen because of the quality. But if you want to move forward with using the Dollar Tree tiles, I urge you to go ahead and give it a try because as long as you're not near water or any type of heat and you want to give your room a different personality, that's a really good option for you. All in all, I'm, this review, the winner is Room Decor. Both, both options are actually pretty good peel and stick tiles for you guys to try out. If you have any questions, comments, please feel free to leave them down below. And I guess that's it for this episode. Please, guys, continue to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys again soon, hopefully with a really cool DIY.